So we have another member of the leopards eating people's faces party um, that ended up getting their face ate by a leopard. And it's Marjorie Green who is going to make a, a confession here that I'm so shocked to hear. So she's on the Russell Brand show and she's going to admit that misogyny is an issue in the Republican Party. Now, first and foremost, to get Marjorie to admit that misogyny is a thing is shocking to me in and of itself. But to get her to say, yeah, it exists and it's an issue in the Republican Party, that is actually shocking because you wouldn't expect her to say that even if she believed it because you're supposed to toe the line, right? But she's not doing that. And it tells me that her admission here is her being a little bit mad that she's not taken as seriously in this party as the men are. Perhaps she doesn't feel like she was considered at all to be Trump's VP like the men were. And, you know, she's one of the most loyal soldiers, if not the most loyal soldier for MAGA. So to get passed over and not really even, be, you know, be given any serious consideration, you know, I can understand why she would feel hurt by that. Having said that, though, I mean, this is conservatism for you. They want women barefoot in the kitchen. Uh, they don't want you to have autonomy. So I feel like you shouldn't be surprised by this. But let's listen to what she has to say. A couple weeks ago, I was I was at home and I, ha I have, was doing some writing. I always do writing to get my thoughts out, uh, just journaling. And I was actually thinking about the patriarchy and the, how the patriarchy has been framed for many, you know, millions and millions of young women and teenage girls. Bye, Kitty. And I was thinking, you know, the patriarchy is actually something truly different than how it's been framed and how these young women think. You were writing about this in your journal. Mm -hmm. And it's, I just, I could not believe it when you brought it up yesterday because I, w I was actually writing what we said, you know, out, out loud. And I, I felt so awkward saying it on here because I was like, am I allowed to say this on Rumble? But the whole term, fuck the patriarchy, which is freeing to be able to say, uh, needs to be redefined. Okay. And it's... She actually just said that. She just said it is freeing to be able to say, fuck the patriarchy. Listen, maybe this is a bit premature, I think Marjorie Green has gone woke. <laughs> okay, if she dyes her hair pink next week, we sound the alarms. She's gone officially woke. <laughs> it's, it's important to do that because I feel like there are millions of young women that have been misled about what it means to be a woman, about what they, what they view as something that's against them. Um, maybe how they've been hurt, possibly by men in their lives. But I think the patriarchy is exa is so much different than how they've been taught. Um, it seems like I've sensed a um, genuine misogyny in the way that you've been spoken mm. to and spoken about that I think they would be reluctant to acknowledge. I, I, I just got to say, it's, it's interesting that an alleged rapist would be concerned about misogyny, don't you think? Multiple women have accused him of, of very serious allegations. And it's a little bit weird people are still openly associating with somebody like this. That's that's a little bit sickening. Absolutely. You know what's interesting? There's misogyny not just coming from the media, perhaps, or the, the Democrats. It's in our Republican Party, too. Is there misogyny? Of course there is. A lot of these guys, they want to control the power, and they really probably don't want women up yeah. there telling them what to do or taking charge or being in the lead. Um, I, I don't see my leadership style perhaps that way, having run a company for so many years. This I, construction company, yes, huh? Yes, exactly. You're dealing with site managers and surveyors of and architects, course. but also people doing like the joinery and electrics. Ma there's managing processes and styles. And I, for me, the right way to go is just to find the best people to hire. And then you trust them to do their jobs and you don't want to micromanage people. Don't get. Wow. So she is admitting here that uh, misogyny is, of course, real in the Republican Party. I feel like that, to me, is a bit of an admission, right? She's she's admitting that she's experienced misogyny in the Republican Party. And I've got to say, this is all speculation. It, it feels like her never really being seriously considered as VP, that's got to hurt. Because, again, like, even before Trump was officially the nominee— she was talking about how she would be uh, delighted to serve with Donald Trump, um, but not even in the contention. Like there were these articles about, you know, nine, ten people um, 
you know, sometimes Tulsi Gabbard would be thrown in there, but not seriously. You know, uh, Christy Nome, mm, I don't, we, we, we genuinely don't know, but it was always like the men. It was, you know, Burgum, Tim Scott, J.D. Vance. They were always the one. Marco Rubio, they were the ones who were in serious contention. So, yeah, you know, things that make you go, hmm, I don't know. Is Marjorie going woke? She might be accused of going woke after that if, if a lot of people in the Republican Party see it. So, uh, you know what to do. Share that shit because, <laughs> because yeah. And, and by the way, I've got to say, uh, putting aside uh, everything else, uh, I feel like she would be the worst boss ever. Like just with how um, how belligerent she is and the way that she talks about other people, uh, I just feel like she she says she's not a micromanager, but I'm sorry. She screams micromanager to me. She just seems like somebody who would never be satisfied. And I say that because that's the way that she is as a legislator. And to even call her a legislator is too charitable. She hasn't done shit. Um, but yeah, she's, she's a bad person. So I, I would assume that's going to translate into her being a bad boss as well. But regardless, hey, I'm not going to say credit to Marjorie because you don't ever have to hand it to her, but she just admitted that misogyny is real in the Republican Party. And I feel like that's that's such an obvious thing. But for one of them to admit it shows you that she thinks it's serious enough to really vocalize that. Now, sure, you know, uh, Russell Brand kind of like said it was an issue, but she she's the one who, you know, she's, oh, of course, it's an issue in the Republican Party. She's, she said it first. He brought up misogyny. She said, yeah, of course, it's an issue there. So it's interesting. Yeah. Bad, 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 bad,